Virgo. We're doing a love reading for you today and we will be exploring whatever comes out in the Oracle and the Tarot. So we could be doing it for singles, couples, those of you separated from someone you love coming in, whatever it is, we're going to dive deep into it. Yeah. So do trust your intuition and what resonates with you and uh, don't make a story fit your circumstances if you feel like it doesn't resonate. You could always get a personal reading with me, which is more attuned to your own energy and circumstances. And uh, if you do want to get a personal reading with me, I'll put that booking link on here and down below. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly. You're rocking awesome. Love your support. If you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Show the love, hit the like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign reading is up on my channel. Now, big congratulations to our June winner, which was Marilyn Shank. Marilyn has claimed her prize. She won the one-hour personal reading that was up for grabs. So big congrats, Marilyn. Now, there is a chance to go into the draw again this month, the July, and uh, it is a one-hour pre-recorded personal reading with me so I can meditate on your energy as well as check your Akashic record, your past life information, answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle, Super easy to enter. All you got to do is pop a comment below this video or any video in July. Let me know you want to go into the draw. Be subscribed to my channel and I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month. All right, let's dive in, my love. So let's see what's coming towards you, something you're possibly going through right now when it comes to love and relationship. Okay, some of you got separation from your partners on the horizon. So that could be in terms of one of you might need to travel, someone may work away. It can be actually a separation that you're going through or deciding to separate. You've got finances and career are a factor in your love life right now. So you might be really working hard on your career. There could be some money issues going on. Oh, Spirit's saying you need to pay attention to the red flags. Signs are cautioning you. We'll dive into that. Oh, somebody needs to make more of an effort when it comes to love. So that can mean a couple of things. It could be in terms of a relationship or a connection you're currently in. It could mean that if you want love, you're going to have to put yourself out there. Mm, yeah, because some of you are calling in a soulmate or would like to call in a soulmate. Oh, whatever this separation is, there was deception here, my loves. Mm -hmm. Confirmation of that. Oh, you've also got a very passionate connection, either coming in. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of chemistry going on. Okay, any red flag, Spirit is saying you need to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations and openly and honestly discuss your feelings with each other versus allowing things to kind of fester or possibly, you know, you might think something's going on, but if you had the conversation, you might actually find out it's not what you thought it was. Mm -hmm. Or it could be an actual red flag. Oh, some of you need to disconnect and retreat with each other, have some one-on-one -on -one couple time. It's directly related to making the effort in a connection. Oh, those of you trying to call in a soulmate, there's some divine timing going on. Right? Spirit's saying it's worth waiting for the right person to come along. All right, let's put some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. Oh, the angels are trying to help you with seeing deception about this connection. Whatever it is, they're trying to help you in this situation. Mm -hmm. When it comes to those of you that are focused on your finances and career, there's also a passionate connection here. You've got a message, don't stop. So keep being focused on that. But you've also got a message that there needs to be compromise and balance in this connection. So if you're putting all your energy into your career and your finances and you're not giving enough attention to this connection, Spirit's saying there needs to be more balance. Also, if it's just purely passionate, then there needs to be more groundedness into that connection. 
let's have a look at you paying attention to red flags and having some open conversations. Yeah, there's something you need to get more information on. So don't jump the gate and think something's going on until you've got more information, Spirit's saying. Oh, those of you that need to make more of an effort in a connection, take some time away with each other. When you do that, there's going to be some big, happy changes in your relationship. And let's have a look at those of you calling in a soulmate. I can say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spirit's saying right now you might be trying too hard. You need to let go, right? Just go with the flow. Focus on other things because coming in the near future, right? You can't force it to happen. All right, let's pull you some love guidance, especially on this separation here where Spirit's saying there's deception. They're trying to show it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got a new window of opportunity coming in. So that kind of means that this is definitely over, right? A new adventure in love's coming. So Spirit's saying you need to get ready. Any other guidance there? Oh, again, you pulled adventure. So she's oh, she's so beautiful. Have a look at her. I'll bring really close. She's so gorgeous. She got her back to the past. She's looking forward. She's feeling, she looks, just looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Adventure is going to add excitement to your journey. It does say seek adventure together. So possibly whatever you were in wasn't really... It kind of feels like it's run its course, yeah, in terms of maybe it didn't really fire you up. All right, let's have a look at this connection here where you're focused on your finances and career and Spirit's saying there needs to be more balance and compromise. Oh, you've got true love. It's absolutely a true love connection. Mm-hmm. A deep and enduring connection that goes beyond a superficial attraction. So it's not just passion, darling. It's kind of beautiful. All right, let's have a look at you having to pay attention to the red flags and having a having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Heart to heart. Oh, Spirit's saying there's going to be an opportunity for you to dress up and go out and party, darlings. Fun times ahead. So that could be with either with this person or with your friends. Oh. We're saying you may be falling fast in this connection, all right? It says, but don't lose yourself in the process. Just be mindful that you don't rush into things. Right? You regularly rush into things and you miss red flags. All right, let's have a look at couple here where there needs to be making an effort and then there's going to be big happy changes. Oh, Spirit is saying keep the sparks flying, right? So surprising each other with gestures of love. This is a connection where you've been in it for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at those singles calling in a soulmate. Oh, you got a message of just finding the simple pleasures and spending time together. So you may meet someone where, I mean, they're beautifully dressed. So it could be one of those things where you both enjoy getting dressed up and going out, but the closest you are is when you're actually doing really simple things together. Mm -hmm. Certainly coming in the near future. The couple's come out twice here. All right, let's pull some clarifiers, especially on this situation where there was deception and a separation going on. You've got a new window of opportunity coming in. Oh, wow. There's some envy and turmoil going on here. Obsessed hearts and jealous minds brew a storm of chaos. So they may be watching you. Wow. You've got a message to nurture your devotion bloom. So it's basically nurturing both the blossoms and thorns with tenderness. So 
it's kind of like embracing the things that you've been through, through in terms of things that haven't worked out for you, but they often create the thorns that make it harder for people to get into your energy because you protect yourself more, right? You've also got to nurture that open side of self as well. So both sides, the one that puts healthy boundaries in place with people so that, you know, people that don't have great intentions can't just get into your energy field. You've, whatever you've been through has taught you a valuable life lesson. Any other guidance there? Oh, Spirit's saying you need to trust in the shining sun. Mm hmm Trust the universe's plan and follow your heart. So you've got a new window of opportunity opening up. All right, let's have a look at this beautiful true love here where there needs to be more balance when it comes to finances and career and spending time together. Oh, some of you need to release the past. Someone's still hanging on to the past. Release the past and let yourself love again. So someone needs to fully open up to this connection and trust in it. All right, let's have a look at this message here about not missing red flags and jumping into things too quickly, losing yourself in it. Oh, you've got playful innocence, which is you taking baby steps when it comes to love, right? Avoiding the seriousness and just having fun. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this couple that have been together for a while and Spirit's saying you need to put more effort in. Spend some time together and get those sparks flying. Now, Spirit's saying you just trust your inner compass, your instincts to guide you, and you'll be fine. All right, let's have a look at those of you calling in a beautiful soulmate. Some timing things going on. Now, Spirit's saying you need to watch avoid in avoiding burnout, right? So something's really passionate, and that's what you're going to, jump into without taking your time which may have happened in the past it's just going to be passion right you're going to it's going to burn out quick right so you have to create a foundation with someone versus losing yourself in it it's come out twice now oh there's a message to unlock the gate when this person comes in you're both going to explore the unknown and walk this path together a new path together how oh, beautiful yeah. All right. Let's pull some love messages. Firstly, from this situation where someone separated from another, where there was deception. Oh, it was a soulmate connection. So confirmation it was a soulmate. Mm. And there was a message here that Love's worth taking the risks. You're called to move forward. So you're called to make an effort in love, but it's really about you moving forward to the opening up that new window of opportunity. You now, and Spirit's saying nothing's gone wrong, darlings, right? Just trust the process. Things are divinely timed. So sometimes we come across people in our path that are not meant to travel with us. They're either we're teaching them a lesson or they're teaching us a lesson or both people are teaching each other a lesson, right? Just continue forward. All right, let's have a look at this true love connection where it just needs to be a bit more balance and compromise. Oh, Spirit's saying you need to be honest and have some open heart-to-heart -heart conversations and talk about your feelings. Any other guidance there? Oh, it's going to deepen this relationship in the next few months. So possibly one person in here, and I kind of feel like it's you, Virgo, is that there needs to be just a bit more of trusting open heart because there's a beautiful love here. All right, let's have a look at those where you need to stop ignoring red flags and spirits saying you've got to watch that you're jumping into things too fast and just to have fun with love. Oh, some of you are trying to keep the door open to the past. It says, don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see those ones that are opening up for you. Mm hmm Let's have a look at this couple here where they just need to spend some more time with each other. Oh, you need to take a leap of faith and get out of your comfort zone. Perhaps the two of you are in a bit of a comfort zone rut. 
right? You've been together for so long that you've stopped doing things that, you know, make an effort in terms of romance here and you need to boost that back up. Let's have a look at those of you calling in a beautiful soulmate in the near future. Yeah, Spirit's saying you've got to be optimistic, right? It will create the reality that you want. So avoid being in a negative mindset because when we're in a negative mindset, like feeling like, oh, there's nobody out there for me, I'm not going to meet the person I want, you're constantly blocking what wants to come to you. All right, let's give you some more guidance, my love. Firstly, for this one where it's definitely over, <laughs> you, you've got a message to move on. Oh, someone was a runner, right? So the minute you got close to them, they ran, they breadcrumbed, fear of intimacy, a lot of turmoil with this connection. It was a fleeting connection. All right, this, those of you where it's a true love and you just need to have a conversation. All right. There's obviously something going on here where somebody needs to speak up, right? Um, someone's avoiding a conversation, possibly having their feelings hurt but not talking about it. Mm, it's Cupid's arrow strikes here, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Struck by love. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at singles here where... So we're saying, please be mindful of red flags. Stop looking backwards and have fun in love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, look. Hello. You've got the coffin here. Whatever you went through, darling, the coffin's closed on it, right? You can only move forward. It's time in new beginnings. You're being reborn after certainly a, a hard time in love or something you went through. All right, let's have a look at this couple that needs to get their sparks happening. Ah, this is super interesting. You've got the death card here, which is that the relationship is over. No second chances. What's dead is dead. There needs to be some transformation here. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance? Why has that come out? Okay. Got blowing a kiss. So perhaps you're resetting this connection. So the old version of what this relationship was no longer holds, right? So you've got to spark things up. You've possibly been in this connection for a long time. It needs to be unconditional love, giving and receiving here. Yeah, because you've got the butterfly. It's a time to transform this connection. So instead of giving up on it, my loves, if you feel like that, it just needs to be reignited. Mm -hmm. The next phase of growth happening in it, having some adventures together. Right, let's have a look at those who are calling in a new soulmate in the near future. Okay. So we're saying you need, you need to let go of old, outdated ways of thinking when it comes to love, right? Um, particularly any patterning, re, you know, going through things over and over in your mind, overthinking. Mm, time to get out on a date, Spirit saying. Yep, mm -hmm. get back out there. Time to meet new people. Dating online, setting a date up. Mm -hmm. I kind of love that for you. All right, let's have a look at, for those of you where there's a separation that's gone on here, Someone was a runner. Let's pull some messages on what they'd like to say to you. Oh, I'm afraid to contact you. I can't stop thinking about you. They are quite obsessive. It's already come out a couple of times that they're obsessive. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Mm, anything else? I love you. Well, they never expressed it, did they? They never showed it properly. They certainly did something here. Mm, I wish I'd treated you better. Anything else? I know I was a distraction from your pain. You may have been 
the distraction to their pain. Any other guidance? I wonder if you're happy without me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, pull some guidance. Firstly, for we'll do them in the order that they've come out of right in terms of the energies that have come out because we've got quite a few different scenarios playing out here let's have a look at this person you're separated from any guidance on this mm, i miss your touch holding me oh yeah they are obsessing about you right so if you can feel their energy they're absolutely watching you on social media Trying to see what you're up to. Oh, yeah, it's not as much fun as I thought it would be without you. Maybe they should have thought about, about that before. They did whatever they did, which looks deceptive. Um, let's get to the heart of the matter. What went wrong here? What was going on that was the issue? Somebody needed to make more of an effort. Well, if they're running, it's a bit hard to make an effort when you're running away, is it? <laughs> oh, focus on what's important. So I don't know if there was little squabbles that went on. And there needed to be a safe space to create a safe space for communication. So perhaps there's somebody that wasn't able to communicate very well. All right, let's have a look at this couple here where it is a true love. And there needs to be some sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Someone's avoiding a conversation. Oh, look, every time I try and talk to you, you put the walls up. I don't know if that's you, Virgo, or the other person who's trying to talk to you. Oh, I love growing old with you by my side. Anything else? Oh, I have a secret, but I'm denying it. So somebody can feel that there needs to be some sort of conversation. All right, let's get to the heart of the matter. What's going on here? Well, there's some sort of trust issue going on. And you know what? A conversation, a simple conversation is going to clear that up. Totally clear it up. Oh, there's a pattern of criticising going on. So perhaps that's the secret. <laughs> yes. And there's some unequal give and take in this relationship. So not a lot wrong going on, but there just needs to be someone's, when that happens, someone's needs are not being met. So if it's purely focused on, Virgo, I'm going to give you this conversation. If Virgo, if you're the one that's purely focused on your career and your finances right now, and you're taking this connection a little bit for granted and going, oh, that person just understands me. They'll put up with it. Um, they're not feeling great about it in terms of being on the receiving end of that. Just saying. There's certainly love there. Mm -hmm. All right, singles. Let's pull you some guidance. Well, some of you are definitely feeling great and getting ready for new love. And some of you are going through health recovery. So there is some timing issues there. Spirit's saying you need to get ready. And dreaming and wishing of my one perfect soulmate, which is pretty much totally in alignment with the energies coming out here for you. Uh, let's see who's coming towards you in terms of new love, which they're saying is going to arrive in the next couple of weeks. Oh, someone's dating several people at the same time. So don't miss those red flags. And each day I grow closer to you. This is the uh, beautiful love coming in. And because of you, I know love is real, right? So there's two energies there. Spirit saying be mindful of the red flags because that's a no. And there is the, the one that is going to be the, tr the true love coming in. Or the one that's meant for your journey at the time, a soulmate. All right, let's have a look at this couple where you've been together for quite some time. And Spirit's saying it's time to transform it into a new version. Oh, you complete me. I'd be lost without you. Oh, that's beautiful. And I have trouble expressing my feelings, but I do care. Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh, yeah. 
let's get to the heart of the matter. So why have the two of you gotten into a bit of a slump here, which I think is really just complacency? Oh, look, grown apart and lost that spark. You need to spark things up. You've got the message you need to spark things up. <laughs> oh, someone feels taken for granted. Well, you two have gotten way too comfortable with each other. And there's too much control going on. So it kind of tells me a lot. And it's kind of like that couple that have been together for ages, right? And you've gotten into all sorts of patterns with each other which over time could really great, yeah? So applying too much control, that could really annoy someone in the fact that they can't do what they want to do because you've been together and, like, you've got to spend all your time with me. Well, no, they're still an individual, whether it's you or them. Give them the time to go and play golf or, you know, catch up with their friends and have a beer and go to the footy or if you're the feminine, go out with your friends and have a boozy lunch, whatever it is for you, or go and get, you know, your beauty treatments done. Let go of the control. Um, you need to fire things up, darlings. You need to create a new adventure in your life for the next decade going forward. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, all right, let's put you some messages. Actually, before we do that, let's have a look at relationship influences. Um, firstly, for this connection here where they obviously didn't treat you right and you're separated from them. Oh, they were someone who was really insecure within themselves and they're emotionally unavailable mm -hmm. <laughs> and they needed to heal the masculine. So there's a couple of think, scenarios to this. So if they were someone that came across as being very masculine, like like if your typical gym buddy, right, big, big gym guy, um, I'm just talking to the masculine, then we'll talk to the feminine. All right, so I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing men, guys. Just hang on. If someone's like that, they can be like that because they feel like they need to protect themselves. So they go too far into the masculine, but underneath that, they're very insecure and sensitive. Right, but they won't tell you that. Uh, the other side of that is they needed to step into their personal power, their empowerment. Now, if we're talking to the feminine, feminine in terms of healing the masculine. You needed stronger boundary setting. Um, possibly. Also, you got to watch that you don't emasculate the masculine energy based on your own karmic imprints, which is not taking their viewpoints into account, thinking of men in a certain way. There's all that kind of thing that goes on, but it can also be about both parties stepping into their personal power. Oh, yeah. All right, let's have a look at this couple which love growing old by each other's side, but there's someone feels a little taken for granted, a little unequal give and take here. Oh, see, money is a big focus here. Someone's too focused on their money. There needs to be some inner peace found in this relationship. Anything else? Mm. If you don't watch that, there could be some distance. One of you may be working away from the other is the other thing. Singles. Oh, some of you need to do some forgiveness of the past and close that door on the past. I don't feel like it's a lot. Some of you, someone's definitely in health recovery. That's now come out twice. So you got to wait for perfect timing. <laughs> Darlings, perfect timing going on. Because what happens if you're in health recovery and you try and jump yourself into the single scene, you're going to meet someone who's also in health recovery. Yep. Neither of you would be ready for it. All right, let's have a look at this couple here. You've been together for a long time. You need to spark things up. Oh, someone's afraid of rejection. So is somebody afraid, wants intimacy in the other one, and they're afraid the other one's just going to say no? They want more intimacy? Uh, you know what? It's a period of self-discovery. Both of you need to bring some fresh air into this connection. Okay, there's a message to wait. What are we waiting for? So if you're thinking of jumping ship, spirit saying wait. Yes, the time for new adventures. Now that's a conscious choice together. That's now come out three times in your energy. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at love attributes. Firstly, for the person you're separated from, well, they were a free spirit, so they don't like to be tied down. Mm, unless you're the free spirit. 
Well, there's someone that was very generous when they went running in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, and spiritual. I'm going to say, Virgo, I'm going to say that you are the one that's spiritual here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And easy going. Okay. That could have been a really confusing connection because this person has some great aspects, but they're so busy running away. They haven't fully stepped into their power of who they are. It would have been seriously confusing, darlings, their energy. All right, let's have a look at the, the pair of you here where somebody just needs to. Um, there needs to be some inner peace here. There needs to be conversation. There's nothing really wrong except someone's feeling like the other one's really not giving them enough of an effort. Yeah, it is a rock solid relationship. The person you're with is rock solid. Mm, I like to keep active, or well, you do. And somebody really values their independence. Now, that's you, Virgo. How do you keep your independence and your freedom but still be in a committed partnership that meets the other person's needs? Versus it all be about you, darling. Just saying. Oh, I've got a couple of girlfriends that are Virgos, and that's just so spot on. <laughs> I love them to bits, but so spot on. All right, let's have a look at singles here. Oh, you want someone where there's some beautiful togetherness time. And you also value your solitude. So you need a balance of both. So, and you're quite adventurous. You've got the explorer there. All right, let's have a look at these couple that have been together for ages and you need to fire things up, seriously, new adventures. Oh, status and prestige is important to one or both of you. Trust is important. There is trust here. Mm -hmm. and equality is important so you're kind of matching on many levels here where you're on the same page except you just need to just get the spark happening darling <laughs> mm -hmm. all right let's pull you some messages from the whispers of love oracle well, firstly for this situation where you're separated from someone that was just so busy running mm -hmm. yeah Oh, you've got a message that right now you need to take some time for rest and relaxation. You need a fundamental time to take a break, right? Fundamental need to take a break right now. Let's have a look at this rock-solid connection here where somebody just needs a bit more love and attention. Oh, somebody needs to be more patient here. Love is patient and always kind, yeah? Virgo, I think that might need to be you. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right, singles. Because I think whoever's with you is very patient. <laughs> You've got the message to embrace your emotions, right? Don't shove them down. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted, yeah? Anything that comes up for you. All right, let's have a look at this couple here. You need to fire things up. You've got two messages. Oh, yeah. You've got a message to take a chance on love. Right? We when we love our lives change forever. And here it is. The crux of the whole issue is the relationship pattern. I've been doing for a long time. Take strength to recognize the need for change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do I need to say anything more about that, darlings? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Put your message from the lovers oracle. Oh, you got a message about playfulness. Now, this is for couples, right? Laughter is the best medicine. Have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer. Singles. Oh, you've got a message you need to surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go and all will work out. So you definitely need to let go of the past. There's not a lot you need to let go of. Give you a soulmate message. Firstly, for the one here where there was a messy kind of separation going on here. 
So as every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Yet sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust all is as it should be. We'd suggest to you, whoever went through this situation, is that there's someone better out there for you that is going to be rock solid, that's not going to be afraid to love you, um, who's going to let the walls down versus run off at every opportunity. Mm -hmm. Just saying, darling. Yes. All right, this couple here that it's rock solid. It needs to be a conversation. Are you ready? It says, you, my beloved, are like a ray of golden sunshine. I breathe in your love and all my concerns melt away and all that's left is pure joy. Thank you, my beloved soulmate. Absolutely a beautiful connection. All right, singles. <laughs> Oh, are you ready? This is what's coming towards you. So for God's sake, wait for it, right? This spirit is saying it's coming in a couple of weeks. Two hearts merge through an explosion of love. United, they create unlimited wealth. Together, they fulfill their dream. Oh, wait for that one. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> this couple here where there's some relationship patterning playing out. Are you ready? It says, love is the expression of the God or goddess that's flowing through you. Love is a sacred union. Through the merging of two souls, it brings an exploration of the divine. There's a lot they're saying that you need to explore and have some fun and adventure with each other. Mm -hmm. All right, going forward, let's put you some guidance from the tarot. Firstly, I'm just going to do couples and then we'll do singles. What does it couples need to know? You've got the Ace of Wands, which it kind of feels like there's just a resurgence or a rebirth that needs to happen in the connection or a fresh approach to take to your love situation. And, oh, hello. There's one hiding underneath there. You've got the Three of Cups, so watch out for deciding that, you know, maybe a third party situation might be more fun or less stressful or is going to give me what I need. And Spirit's saying on every single count here, darling, that is not the case, right? It's really about focusing on the person you're with and meeting each other's love needs. Mm -hmm. it needs to be temperance and balance in these connections. So, yeah. All right, singles. Mm. You've got the page of swords. Now, if you have a look at this, he's got his sword lifted, ready to cut through anything that doesn't serve him. Uh, so anyone that comes towards you with not the right intentions, you're going to see it quite clearly. And Spirit's saying, just quickly, you know, get those people out of the way of your path, darling, because they're not meant for you, right? Uh, it's really about find, uh, waiting for this beautiful and allowing and attracting this beautiful divine love coming in towards you. Mm. Wow. You've got the Page of Pentacles. I'm going to say together, both of you are going to create this beautiful sense of wealth together. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're dreaming of this beautiful future, but that, you know, Obviously, things got to align with paths, them, them coming across your path, you coming across their path. Beautiful. And you've also pulled the high priestess. So this is basically saying whatever you've been through, whatever experiences you've been through, it create a sense of you ascending to a higher state of consciousness when it comes to love relationships. And trusting in what you've learned, your wisdom, knowing what's healthy for you, what's not healthy for you. Coming from a place of high vibration when it comes to making choices in love. Mm -hmm. All right, darling, those are your messages. Been pretty full on, just got to say. Uh -huh, a few funny things. Quite amused me. Yeah, don't know if it amused you. All right, love to hear. How this reading resonated for you, do let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, enter the competition. Do reach out if you want uh, more specific guidance to your own situation, uh, circumstances that you're in, as well as your energy. Um, the 
booking link for my personal readings is on here and down below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.